Hi everybody. Man, I have got to I've got to change the schedule. Wednesdays just do not work. Wednesdays are a mess. Anyway, so picking up from the last video, my buddy Josh had just left. He took his rotisserie and ran home to flew home to Vegas. So now that he's gone, I've realized I needed to put a couple of extra nut plates here to secure the rest of the panel frame. But, unfortunately, I couldn't get the squeezer in there because the avionics racks were getting in the way. So, remove a few screws, put the nut plates on, and then that's it. That's official. That is the end of Chapter 35. Right there. You just watched it. Now that all that's done, uh, I gotta put. I can finally do the final torquing of all of the bolts, bolts, sorry, uh, screws and nuts for the racks. One piece of advice I'll give when you're doing this: do it in the same order I did. Sort of line up the racks the way you like. Painters tape them together. Put them in the actual panel to level them and get everything spaced correctly. Make some markings. Heck, even do some drilling. But when it's time to actually secure them in place, you're going to want to do them one at a time. Right? I say that because getting... So getting the two front screws in on both sides of the plate, that's easy. Getting that back screw, that is not. And you normally have to have like a small 90 degree ratcheted screwdriver to even to even get in there. Um, for anyone that's wondering what that is, here's a picture of one. That's what I have. You can see me right there. I've got my hands in uncomfortable positions trying to get that back screw. And... If you're trying to get the one like in the middle, it just it doesn't work. You can't get your hand. You've got three racks. Trying to get a screw in for the middle one doesn't work. So you have to take the top one out, put the middle one in, put the top one back in. Giant pain in the butt. Alright, so once I've got all of these secured, uh, we're going to go back to the wiring, right? So, still trying to group all of the power together, at least, well, this, this won't happen necessarily for everyone, but in the order that I'm doing stuff. So, right now, I'm in the middle of trying to segregate the load lines and the electrical system from the grounds, right? And the one needs to go to the circuit breaker panel and then one will ultimately go to the grounding bus. Now, not every, not all the lines that come from the fuselage go up into the circuit breakers, right? Uh, wherever I can, I'm substituting switch breakers uh, for actually having a, another breaker on a bus. One, I don't have room. Two, it's just so much easier to deal with. So, things like the defrost fan, that's going to be on its own switch, which is also a breaker. My babies do a little bit of dancing in the background. Um, <clears throat> so all the lights, those are going on switches. Uh, pitot heat, right, that's all going on a switch. But those also still go to the grounding block. So you're going to wind up having to need more grounds than you will leads for the circuit breaker panel. It's a giant pain, but that's what it is. So once we have all that in place, um, I think we're pretty happy at the moment. Once we have the connections separated, I'm going to start making some lines. The next thing that we're going to wind up working on is actually the tail. So we're going to be putting the pitch and the yaw uh, servos in place. Now, I don't actually have all three, right? So what I did was I ordered one servo, and then I stole another servo from the wing. So right now I still... I still need one more servo to put back into the wing, but that's fine because I'd already put one in place and the wires fit, so it's all good. So now we're going to go and secure the tail. The ELT's in place, the tail's in place. Once all that's done, now I don't have the rudder hooked up, right? So the only thing I have left to do, and I'll talk about this in the next video, is, uh, is once that yaw dampeners in place. You have to secure it, but the rudder has to be on. So that's the only thing that's really left after you do all the next bit of work. So anyway, thank you for joining me. Again, I'm sorry. Wednesdays just suck. Uh, I'll, I'm trying to remember to, you know, narrate the video the night before. So, so you can have it in the morning and not the afternoon like this. So thank you for joining me, everyone. Have a good rest of the week. See you on Saturday.